Hey there, welcome to the Book Nook. Today we are going to talk about an indie book called Lure by Tim McGregor. This book recently came out. It is a short horror novella, so it's relatively, you know, you can you can knock it out in a couple hours. This had me hook, line, and sinker. But um, cue your underwater and sea-related buns. Ah, I can't help it. This book made a big splash. Oh my god, okay, that's sin. He gotta stop saying really cornball things. So this book I found through Twitter. I follow several different indie presses on there and I saw this one and I've always loved books that have like an underwater related theme. And I love horror. I think mermaids are pretty cool or lure maids as they are called in this. The premise for the book was super intriguing. This old fishing village and it's surrounded by the sea. Behind them is mountains. There's not really too much interaction with any of like the other lands around them or other people. So they kind of all keep to themselves and it's this village and it's got really old ideals, which is how, with how the men treat the women, you know, like they're like, I want this woman to be my wife. That's, you know, and then that person has to marry them if the father accepts. And it's all very kind of like old school. And I feel like this happened in the olden times. It didn't really say it, but kind of like some of the names you're like, all right, people named Uriah, Brindis, Casper. They, they just felt like, you know, older names from a different time. There's this family that the story centers around and they've moved to this small fishing village and the dad is the minister of the town. You know, they kind of wanted them to get rid of their heathen ways as is such in times. So, you know, they look down on stuff such as their midsummer celebrations and stuff, which they would still sort of have, but they, they, they squashed all the old like rituals and stuff that went with it per se. What happens after Midsummer's Eve, this god or creature floats into the bay and it is a lure maid or a mermaid. Everyone's like, what, what is she doing here? What, what's going on? And you know, the men are all like, well, uh, let's, let's go kill it. Let's not try to learn about it insert scratching balls or something like if aliens ever you know aliens among us why would they ever show themselves in like the middle of society you know everyone would be like well let's kill it anyway <laughs> so the men are all like let's let's kill this creature as one might think this does not go over well with this creature and then ensues a horrific awesome novella i'm gonna be so cheesy again i want to call it it's not a slasher, but it's definitely a splasher. Oh, I'm fired. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get out of here. <laughs> so Tim McGregor, he is a new author to me that I've just discovered. Lure was pretty awesome. You know, the villagers are like, there's this creature we don't know of. Does it have a soul? Would God have created this? And everyone's just really stupid about it. And like the women of the town are fascinated and they're all like, oh, you know, they, they go and they watch it as it swims around. But the men are all like, let's murder it because I'm not going to state too many opinions here. <laughs> but the story has such a great, good paced splasher. We're going to go with it. We're just going with this. There's blood, there's gore, and just the way it turns out is pretty awesome. If you're looking for another short and sweet book, another great novella, and I've been discovering a lot lately, which has been pretty cool. At some point when I read enough, I may make a dedicated video about that. Like a handful, like five nifty novellas or five sin short and sweets, I will figure it out. But Lure, I loved it. I gave it five stars. Tim McGregor had me hook, line, and sinker. <laughs> If you are interested in Lure, and also when they sent it to me, uh, it's from Tenebris Press, and I pre-ordered it, and it came with all this really cool stuff, which I obviously I'm not prepared, and I didn't bring any of it down here with me, but there was a box that had, it was green, and it had the Lure made on it, and it came with all these stickers, and a pin, and more bookmarks, and just the attention to detail and stuff that came with us, and just fantastic story. Highly recommend it. I will have a link down below if you are interested in this book. It is an affiliate link, so a little bit goes to me, and then it also goes to independent bookstores as well, and you can choose which bookstore it goes to. Coming up next, if you like horror, will be another horror-related video. If you had fun hanging out, boop that like button, come back, see me again, and we'll talk about more bookish things and weird stuff. So until then.